Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Now uh this time actually wait, hold on, I'm not sure if I'm recording. Let me check. Hello everyone. Uh I'm back. Just just wanted to make sure I was recording, you know. Um So yeah. Um this time we're gonna we're gonna go say hi to the Brotherhood of Steel. We need to figure out what tribes we like, what tribes we don't. I'm thinking the ones we will like uh, is uh, probably the the tops, uh, Brotherhood. Oh wait, no, he's dead. The tops, the Brotherhood. Hey, this one looks pretty uh, tough. The Boomers. Um. What else here? Um. Was that all? Did I mention the great cons? I think I did. Whatever. We'll figure things out as we go. Um. I know one thing for sure though. Uh. The White Glove Society. Don't like them. We're getting rid of them. Alright. We don't like them. Uh. And that's actually the only tribe I'm really for certain about. I'm. I'm trying to consider the Omeritas because. I mean, uh, this character is supposed to be neutral, so it doesn't really matter all that much if we do good or bad. Thing is, the Omeritas are pretty corrupt and generally bad people. So I'm thinking we get them out of here, but I'm already a hero of the wastes, so I kind of want to do something bad to even it out. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll think about it. We have plenty of time. Or I probably want to spend the next few episodes doing stuff. Hello? Hmm. Veronica, you're supposed to do something. Hold on. I've got this. Oh, yeah. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Mm-hmm. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, yes, sir. And the elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. You bet. Okay. Looking sharp, Ramos. Oops, I fell. Okay, let's do some missions for these guys. Okay, let's do this guy's thing. Where is he? Where is the head scribe? There he is. Hi there, you old Look, fuck. this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ipsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Why? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Mm-hmm. A virus. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. 
It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Mm-hmm. Anything I can do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. Mm -hmm. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. And the virus is files B. Something so read access is only provided by uh, the administrator. What? No, that... that's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. Alright, I'll give it a try then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before... Okay. Come on, baby. Quick hands, quick hands. The virus just jumped. Okay. Okay, no virus which yet. Terminals it went to. Okay, there's the virus. Okay, here's, uh, let's hope there's another one in here. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Ten seconds. Okay. Move, move, move. Aha. Damn, it's jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Well, they're all on some of the terminals, so we can just find more. Did you want to try isolating the virus? Yeah. All right, I'll monitor... Now I just need to find one more. The virus just jumped. Not this one. Find which terminals it went to. There we go, we did it. That's it, we got it. The virus has been purged. Hell yeah. You actually did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Hmm. Okay, bye. Later. I suppose let's go talk to the Elder. There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into the area. Mm-hmm. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. 
What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Sure. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Okay, well, I'll look. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have... You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment. Mm -hmm. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Uh, sure. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. I don't want no part of this. I have expected you to say that. In which case, I'll continue to pursue the matter on my own. Should you continue dealing with the Elder and find yourself beginning to see my point of view, I'll be around. Okay. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? Sure is. Okay, well. Uh, let's just leave. Because there's a thing I actually want to do. All right, let's go ahead and um, well, let's go to this the silver rush. Now, uh, none of you guys probably know what the silver rush is, and uh, for obvious reasons, but okay. Silver Rush is a store, and, uh, well, since we're energy weapon people, you know, uh, I say we should go ahead and, uh, work for them, you know? So, yeah, let's go do that. the time I can't even tell if it's pranking or not. You know, Ed's accuracy is very good. I'm gonna to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. All right, go ahead. There, I've stole all the. The 
bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graaff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Hold on. Sorry, I'm kind of interrupting. I forgot to check something here. Oh, wait, they stole me. No, whatever. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Wow. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Oops. You people are crazy! It's okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Well, got any work available? It just so happens the position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Holy hell, that's a lot of energy weapons. Guess we dropped the ball on that one. No kidding. Hello. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. How'd you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right on. You'll be covering the other side of the door here. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for what customers and risks can enter and exit the area when I get your gear ready. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor, with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation back. Yes, Next, sir. your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? Uh, for this character, a laser. Good choice. I prefer laser-based weapons myself. But the boss lady says she wants at least one guard using a plasma rifle. Says the lightning bits draw in more people. Whatever. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just assaulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, and I started here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff proper. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. Who knows? You might attract a high roller from the Wrangler over there and never have to pull a gig like this again. Okay, I'll go away. Hmm. Hold on, wait. I want to try something I've never done before. I want to see what happens if I drop the Van Graaff laser rifle. Aw. I'm going to equip this. Better. Hmm. 
Will you love me Settle if I in. help you hide? You got some hours left for your shift ends. We're okay on Stimpax. Here comes a win. No more medics to kill the pain. The hell out of here, you drunk! Fine, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I'll take my business elsewhere. More like he's going to the Wrangler for another drink. You watch. <laughs> I bet he is too. Just watch. Another one coming. You're on. I'm walking over there. What does it look like Why when he aims at the ones we care about the most? Well, watch him. Watch him. He's going to go back in. <laughs> Yeah, he went in for another drink. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Well, we're gonna have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Are we being watched? No, I hope not. Where's meeting people? Crap, I don't have any. What's my speech at? 36? I don't think that's enough. Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. Ah, oh, God, it's this pain in the ass. This guy is about to make me lose a hundred caps. Hold on. I think I need to be like 50 for my speech. Mm. Well, there's nothing I can do. Benny's suit. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong and it's like 40. I'm, I'm going to really hope here. Did I do something wrong? No. Howdy! I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Certainly, sir, but you must pat down your weapons first. Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? Damn it. Your word doesn't matter. It's just company policy. I just don't see why it's necessary. Now, are you going to let me in or not? Well, in a word, no. If that's the case, then I guess I'll go spend my money elsewhere. Wow. You're a real people person, aren't you? Ah, shut the hell up. Ah, fuck. Wrong thing. Ugh, that moment when you just want to shoot your foot. Okay. Fucking high piece of shit. I don't know why I just said that, but... Will you love me if I help you hide? Don't screw it up. Oh god, which guy is it? We're okay on Stimpax. Oh no, it's that guy. Get ready for no something, guys. Get ready for something. Hold on, if... Let me save. Alright. Because I want to know what happens if you kill the guy before you even talk to him. Because, uh... Spoiler alert, this guy's a bit different. What the hell are you doing? Hey! Sneaking gun, fighting now. He 
you died. Hey man, this is nice stuff though. Bad guys dealt with. Let's kill all these mofos. so easy and look at all the loot but I'm not going to do that okay I actually like these guys so I'm not going to kill them all just wanted to see if I could I didn't even try either that was the funny part Looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Sarah won't have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? It's company policy. Are you going to let us search you or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't going to work. Oh, buddy. Bad move. Stop. What was that was about? Let me loot him first. Help me clean this up. No, no, one's no let me loot him. Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. No way. What did I tell you about trying to make off with that gear? Uh -oh. Uh oh. I just wanted to loot the guy. Jesus. God damn it. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. You know what? I'm just gonna let Simon go. Bad guys dealt with. Okay, yeah, he was gonna go and explode everything. Mm-hmm. Let's go look at this note, huh? To whom it may concern, if you're reading this, then I am likely dead. I can only hope that I have managed to take out some of those thrice damned Van Graffs with me. My family deserves that much, at least. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy, uh, the Van Graffs are the reason. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, buddy. Things are about to get interesting. As I was saying, I think the Van Graffs might be responsible for that guy's family's death or something. I don't know. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford to help. Good to hear it, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of it. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tiller. You'll do that for me, won't you? Why don't you tell her yourself? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, we're gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders.
Morning. Simon's been telling me how it went. You had a little bit of a hard time following it. Unfortunately, oh, I found someone else. However, another tap. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, check this out. Got us here a stealth boy, right? So if we save real quick. My 600th save. Good way to celebrate it. Okay. So basically, oh God, I have to scroll down again. Uh, if I click this, uh, plus my stealth suit, that should make it even easier. I can steal all of this shit. Like, all of it. That's a lot of stuff. That I just get for free. Just from a stealth boy. But don't take things too quickly, because you could be detected for like two seconds. And then, you know, if you steal something while you're detected, then uh, you're kind of in trouble. That's why I always suggest saving before you do something like this. Just in general, not just this, but like stealing in general. Always save beforehand. Sweet. Okay, so now that we've got that part out of the way. I mean, this is already paid for itself, you know. Stealth boys may be expensive and kind of hard to come by. But let me tell you, this stuff, probably like a, a lot of caps worth of stuff. Also get some nice stuff ourselves. Yeah, I'm literally right in front of their face and they don't not they don't see me. So good. Cause I have like a hundred fifty sneak right now. You can't just take that. Oh I'm sorry. They take all the stuff I stole. No, they didn't. Nice. Okay. They actually detected me this time. Still detected. What the fuck? Oh, wait. My stealth boy went off. Okay. It's fine, because I have another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at all the stuff we managed to take. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Take this stuff. I don't need it. So many nice things, man. Oh, oh wait, never give them grenades or mines. They'll use those. Unless that's what you want, then, you know. Okay, now. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized they can't come with me. Time Ooh, to take all my shit back. For me? Is it a dress? Oh, 
hope I can still go there being, you know, too heavy. Where is it? Sonic emitter. Okay. Uh, okay, we can't teleport Ooh, from here apparently. Me. Is it a dress? Should be enough. I know a place where we can definitely get there, so. How about we just go there? Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Boom. I have to dismiss them. Kind of sucks. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Well, eventually they'll have to change. I think you're right. We're getting desperate. Hardly enough people to sustain ourselves as a chapter. We'll see the light, sooner or later. But I get the feeling if I don't take matters into my own hands, the change won't come in time to make a difference. Well, uh, I think it's time for us Why to part ways. Wanna... See you at the Lucky 38. Nice! Can I order room service? Sure. Ed. Boom, okay, so we have some stuff to repair and to sell and you know shit like that. This place is the best Will place to sell shit. For any considerable length of time during Sir's visit. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, I'd like to buy things. Um. My god, look how much stuff I'm getting from this. Oh my gosh, so much. Okay, now this is going to surprise you guys, but when both of these are at full condition, the recharger pistol is better than the rifle. You would think the rifle is better, but no, it's the pistol that's better. So, uh, yeah. That's interesting. So, 12 grand. Hell yeah. Uh, hold on, there's actually more though, because I also need to sell my ammo. Oh, and apparently this. Okay, another 800, so... That's nice. Will sir be staying for any considerable length of time? Uh, whatever. Um, repairs. Now, this will be really good for when we're running low on, uh, on, uh, ammo, because the, the cool thing, oh, hold on, gotta repair some of my stuff, okay, yeah, ouch, that's, uh, that's a lot of money, but, uh, that's okay, so basically, um, cool thing about this is, uh, the longer you have it out, you see down uh, down in the ammo part 
Uh, I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. I mean, you guys can't see that, but, um, uh, it, like, recharges over time. It's, like, solar-powered, kind of. Except, uh, you know, you don't have to be outdoors. You could just be anywhere. It does 20 damage, and, uh, you have 20 shots before, you know. This thing shoots fast, too. It's awesome. I love this weapon, actually. This is one of my favorites. Uh, especially for, uh, energy weapon mains. Uh, you can get a recharger rifle sometimes. Uh, at the very start of the game, actually. I mean, you'd have to be pretty lucky. Uh, I've played a lot, you know, of this game. I've probably, you know, played it a lot. I'd say, if I'm just estimating on the top of my head here, uh, the chances of you actually, uh, finding it at Chet's shop, uh, is probably, like, a mm, 1 in 50 chance, so, which means if you were to try and play the game 50 times, uh, it would only show up, like, once, you know? Uh, I've only gotten it like twice though, so probably lower than that, more like 1 in 20, but <sighs> what I'm trying to say here is uh, don't expect it, okay? It's probably not going to happen. Shit, wait, how much time do we have left? I should probably check the timer, hold on. Oh wow, okay, we still have plenty of time. I thought I got carried away or something. Anyways, let's get our companions back. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, let's equip this for now. Okay, um, like to buy something? Hold on here. Give me that. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and grab a shit ton of Sunset Sarsaparilla. I'm gonna look around for some. Uh, I know we probably have some in Good Springs. <sighs> so, um. Take those, and then, um, yeah, I don't care. Okay, and then, uh, go here. Nothing. Okay. So, uh, now let's go in and see if we can buy some from Chet. They say those robots are you looking to buy some supplies? Yes, sir. Can do. Hey! Guys, look! Recharge your rifle. Damn! When did this show up here? I swear to God, I remember checking like twice. Interesting. Okay. I'll make sure to check again next time I play the game. Um. 
Maybe you get after like a certain amount of time. I'm not sure at this point. Give me all that. Oh, let's see. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not really what we were actually going for, but. Got any, uh... Dang, this guy don't got any senses. That's for real. Wait, let's check ammo real quick. Anything? That's weapons, dumbass. Ammo. There we go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Take it easy. Okay, now. Uh, let's head down to Boulder City. <sighs> okay, now. We can go to the uh, bartender and let's get some more sunset. Because we gotta get that, uh, gotta get those stars, man. They're nice. Trust me when I say it's worth it. Okay, I've seen this weapon in action and it's so nice. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Yeah, show me what's for sale. What can I get you? Sunset sarsaparilla and plenty of it. Sweet. Another satisfied customer. Go Sweet. Okay. Got got to go around to all these bartenders and uh just generally people you can buy from. Get some sunset sarsaparilla, you know. As much as possible, really. Welcome back to the Grove and Go. Oh wait, I I should probably talk to the lady, but I'll sure. talk to him anyway. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing. Okay, bye. So the lady, you handle drinks, I believe. You need water? I got water. Pretty if you're low fresh, on cash. Yeah. Glad to do. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, fair enough. Until next. And, uh. Go to Novak. Ow, my ears hurt from the headphones. Okay. I can't hear anything right now, but I'm not battling or anything, so, uh. You know, we won't have to deal with. I don't have to hear any sounds right now. I can just deal without. Hmm. Okay, this should be open now. Hey, Cliff. How you doing? I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself a call oh. at our motel. Never you know, had this before. The room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Have nice. Give me those. Uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing a sunset. Too bad. Come back. I would have bought that guy's entire stock too. Okay, let's head down to uh, I guess up, but uh, head up to the this place. Yeah, I'm about to get screamed at. I'm about to get screamed at. I'm about to get screamed at. Okay, we got away. Fighting over. Okay, the Emeritus. Still not sure. I'm thinking I might be friends with them. 
It just depends how things go, I guess. Hey, no one but Omerta's. Okay, yeah, whatever. How much I got? Sweet. So I have this at least. Okay, let's talk to their bartender. House is dead. This time for good. Yes, ma'am. Wait, that is bartender. Okay. Hi there. Hey there. Can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Let me see what you got. Here you go. Hmm. Boy, they got the stuff, apparently. And as I mean the stuff, I mean anything but frickin' sunset. Which sucks ass. But yeah, you guys can kinda get the whole feel for the place. Everybody here is super sleazy, chem addicted, and sex addicted, so. Yeah, fun fact, this is the only place on the strip, actually the whole, only place in the whole game that has strippers, so uh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, so now I have to go and to the tops and see what kind of shit I can get. Maybe get this one mission I plan on doing on the channel. Hey, hey, baby doll, welcome. Hi, uh, yeah, here. Oh, and a now the big. Whatever, yeah, goodbye. Have a Those securitrons are now obituaries. Creep. Mm hmm. A cedar. Gotcha. Get your drink. Since this Asperl, I gotta take that. You bet, I'm parched. Suit yourself. Oops. Get your drink? Yeah, you bet, I'm parched. Miss booze and bait. Really? Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother checking the White Mask Society. Come on. Crazy to put your money on either side of the coming battle. Bring a thing, baby. Oh, I know this could have a star bottle cap in it. Yes, hidden, hidden. Okay, come on. Baby, you couldn't pay me enough to step off the strip these days. Legion cats out there thick as fleas on a dog, and they ain't no bums neither. Will you go you away. This crazy scene or what? Oh wait, I got an idea. <laughs> Hello. You dig this crazy scene or what? No, what? Fuck it. Okay, I think I bought all the sunset you can really get from uh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's one more. And, uh, funny enough, she's right over here. Howdy. Interested in a refreshing beverage or a tasty snack? Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. Ouch. Let's see what we got. Take your pick. Hmm. Shit, nothing. Okay, well, how many were we able to scrounge up? 41. Drink them up. 
Ooh, star. Okay, before we had 16, now we have 16. Hold on, wait. Gotta give it a minute. 16, okay. Okay, now let's check. We have 17, okay, well. Shit, uh, that's not good. I only got one from 41 of them. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, you know what? We'll get there eventually. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of this episode, guys. I think so. Hold on. Oh, yeah. About time to end it. Uh, wrap, it wrap it up, you know. So, we did a little bit of here and there, you know. We got a bunch of sunset. We did, uh... We did a thing for the Brotherhood, you know, set that up, and then, um, we also, uh, did a thing for the, the, what are they called? What are they called? Fucking, um, Silver Rush people. Uh, the Van Graffs. That's their name. Yeah, Van Graff. So, did some Van Graff stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll 